the IBA at Winchester, engineering announcements for the radio and television trade. Hello and welcome to this week's engineering announcements from the IBA. Television and radio reception. Pat Walker and Peter Ashforth discuss the problems caused by the recent spell of fine weather. In transmitter news, the latest extensions to Channel 4 coverage, this week's special announcements and details of one new television relay. It's Lambourne in Berkshire. But first, Peter Ashforth. There have been many reports in recent weeks of reception problems in different parts of the country, almost certainly due, of course, to the recent spell of fine weather associated with high pressure conditions. Now, first of all, Pat, I wonder if you could explain in very simple terms why this interference happens. Well, basically, it's due to what's called temperature inversion, which uh, means that, in fact, instead of the... Uh, temperatures gradually decreasing as you go up in the uh, sky you get to a layer of warm moist air and that tends to make the signals bend round and travel beyond the horizon so how does this give rise to the interference then? well it, because the signals travel over the horizon you're getting uh, signals from more distant uh, television or VHF radio stations and, of course, um, if you start getting two signals at once, you get what we call co-channel interference and patterning on the screen. And certainly this last few weeks has been an exceptionally bad period for this. These are the sorts of conditions where you come across reports of people receiving pictures from very distant television stations, for the, for the reasons you've just mentioned. Yes, although, of course, uh, there are various forms of what's called tropospheric propagation, which means that the uh, signals are, are travelling in the troposphere, which is the, uh, just a few miles above the Earth's uh, surface. Um, in the summer, you tend to get this sort of condition arising over water, and that's very often the sort of thing that happens where you get um, foreign stations coming in. But in this type of condition, this autumn period of, of slightly foggy, hot weather, um, you get it applying very much to all overland paths. So you're getting signals from our own transmitters interfering with the reception uh, from people who want to, to watch one of the local transmitters. I suppose some might say this is all very interesting from a theoretical point of view, but what can the poor old viewer who's suffering this interference do about it, if indeed anything? Well, we normally we say there isn't much you can do about it because uh, in normal circumstances this usually lasts say, perhaps one evening or two evenings and then disappears for maybe six months or so on. But of course, in some conditions you can get it reoccurring over several days following. Uh, basically, though, we would say there isn't much you can do except um, enjoy the fine weather and then wait for the weather conditions to change. But I gather that the, the problem's been so bad in some areas that, that people have been unable to watch the programmes at all and they've actually asked some of the ITV companies if they'll repeat certain programmes because they were unable to see them. I mean, surely something can be done to make the, can, those conditions like that slightly better. If you are getting consistent code channel interference from a particular station, then obviously you can do something with your aerial to, to null out the unwanted station as long as it's not coming from the same direction. But in these type of conditions, um, there's nothing much really you can do because it's, it, the interference may come from more than one station and as I say it's likely to last for a few hours um, normally speaking and then goes away so the precautions you would take just wouldn't be worthwhile. We, we do something about this sort of thing in our uh, broadcast to the Channel Islands, we have a very elaborate adaptive aerial that we've talked about on these programmes before, mm. but of course that's a very highly expensive computer-controlled system that just wouldn't be worthwhile for a, a viewer. Mm. Thanks very much indeed, Pat. Special announcements now, starting in Devon, with Stockland Hill due off one morning this week for essential aerial maintenance, weather permitting. This will also affect Beacon Hill and all the dependent relays. And in Yorkshire, Emily Moore will be on reduced power today on ITV and Channel 4, with some interruptions possible to the Channel 4 service. 
In Scotland, Garvin was expected off between 9am and 5pm either today or tomorrow for weather-dependent aerial maintenance, which will also affect Dunure and Kirk Oswald. There's also aerial maintenance at Carmel in David, which was due off this morning from 9.30 until 11. And at Oxenhope in West Yorkshire, liable to interruption and reduced power this week. Whilst Burrington in Avon was due off this morning between 9.30 and 11.30 for electrical maintenance. A number of stations are affected by electricity board work and will be off today. Ochmore Wood from 9am until 5pm. Dumfries South 9 to 10.30 and Urswick 9.30 to 10.30 this morning. Logs from 9.30am until 6.30pm. Henley on Thames between 11 and 11.30 this morning and Penny Bridge from 11 a.m. until midday. Aldborough between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. and Back Barrow from 2 to 3 this afternoon. There's also electricity board maintenance at a number of stations which will be off tomorrow. Hayshaw between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Dumfries South between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Lisbalaw from quarter past nine to quarter past ten. Staveley and Cartmel from half past nine until half past ten. And Cartmel between 11 a.m. and midday. And there's electrical maintenance at Kewstoke in Avon, which will be off from 9.30 until 11.30 tomorrow morning. In South Wales, Bargoyd is due off until midday tomorrow and Thursday for weather-dependent aerial maintenance. In Dorset, Corfe Castle will be off on Thursday until 4pm for an aerial inspection. And there's electricity board maintenance on Thursday with Millen Park off from 10 until 11am, Hawkshead off between 1 and 2pm and Shotley Field and Coniston off between 2 and 3pm. In Avon, the bath relay will be off from 9.30am until 12.30pm for an electrical inspection. On Friday, Scriag on the Isle of Skye will be off from 9am until 1pm. This will also affect all the dependent relays. And in Staffordshire, the Ipstones Edge relay will also be off from 9am until 1pm. Next Monday, Pennine Radio's VHF service from the idle transmitter will be on reduced power during the day, with occasional short breaks. This is for aerial maintenance. In Surrey, Mickleham will be off between 9 and 11 a.m. for electricity board maintenance. And in Yorkshire, Cophill will be off between 8.30 and midday for the same reason. New relays now, and in Berkshire, the relay for Lambourne is expected on the air later this week. It's for about 670 people in and around the village of Lambourne. Programmes from TVS and TVAM will be on Channel 59, with Channel 4 on 52. Group CD aerials are needed, vertically polarised. That's Lambourne, expected on the air in a few days' time. Two more relays are due towards the end of the month. In Devon, Crediton. TSW and TVAM will be on Channel 43, with Channel 4 on 50. The aerial group is B, vertically polarised. In Derbyshire, near Chuckle on the Frith, Edale, with Yorkshire Television and TVAM on 60, and Channel 4 on 53. Group CD aerials will be needed, vertically polarised. These relays are hoped to be ready by the end of the month. But two relays have been delayed. In Somerset, Exford, now expected towards the end of November, and in East Sussex, Eastbourne, the new date has still to be confirmed. Channel 4 next, with two more existing relays now equipped with the new service. Durham on Channel 50, and in West Yorkshire, Keithley Town on Channel 29. These two stations increase Channel 4 coverage by 2,600. Expected this week in Somerset, Brashford, on the Shetlands, Fetlar and Weasdale, in West Yorkshire, Lavendon and in Wiltshire, West Lavington. Due next week in Northern Ireland, Whitehead, Newry South and Bel Air, and in Wiltshire, Westwood. And that's all for this week. We leave you with our address for any technical queries on independent television or local radio. 
Engineering Information Service, Independent Broadcasting Authority, Crawley Court, Winchester, Hampshire. The postcode is SO212QA. Our telephone number is Winchester, area code 0962 822444. If it's cheaper, you can reach us on our London number 5847011 and ask for engineering information. We'll be on the air again next Tuesday at 9.15 and 12.15. Until then, goodbye from Mari Nicholson. Thank you.